Good morning. I'm here with uh, with Sam Armstrong, Make It Happen Signage Consultancy. Also, Chris Edwards from CBI Group. And they're here to make a like, really big announcement that we're very excited about. Uh, but shall we start? So I'll start with you, Sam. Tell us a little bit about yourself and Make It Happen. Sam, Make It Happen. Uh, we've been running boot camps now for seven years. Just seen over 4,000 people to date across our boot camps in the UK. USA and about to be hitting Canada and um yeah. thanks for that uh Chris how about yourself uh yes I'm Chris I've got the CVI group um we also have CVP and the the Rapcast hopefully everybody that's listening knows about the Rapcast because they've been listening to that as well um so yeah we we specialize on the installation wrapping and training side of things um and we've obviously teamed up on this one um but we won't go into too much detail just yet. So our our business is sort of predominantly on the training side of things more these days than it is the installation. Uh, that's a, the direction we're trying to take things uh, towards. So training is sort of quite a, an important part for us, given the industry and uh, what's available in it and trying to get new new people into the industry as well, which is quite a key, key area for us to uh, attack, I think, because there's not a lot that's aimed at getting new people into the industry. So we're uh, trying to help on that side of things as well from the beginning up. Okay, so we can kind of see where this is going. Uh, Stan, do you want to tell us a little bit about the boot camps and and where we're up to now? So obviously I've I've attended a couple of them, but they've become a sort of global uh, sensation. But uh, tell us a little bit about the boot camps, the idea behind them, and then we'll lead into the new one we're talking about today. Absolutely. So um, the signage boot camp is the one that's been running the longest. Uh, signage boot camp is product, 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 but it's um, it is very salesy. So it's not teaching people how to make signs. It's educating people on the materials that are available, upsell opportunities, very hands on. Everybody sees on social media is making built up letters, but it's not a built up letters course. As you know, Jack, it's one hour of making letters is that section. But the majority is actually in the classroom, touchy feely, hands on of all the products, flat cut letters, built up letters, trays, stencil cut sign trays. And really about how to be the difference, how to add value. You know, why am I going to buy from one sign company as opposed to another? It's all around elevating staff all levels basically so that's for me is a really key thing um on the front line is totally and utterly sales we only get sales people on that one or business owners anybody that's touching or speaking to customers and there are times sometimes when you think oh i feel like i'm teaching people to suck eggs but sometimes you actually need to reiterate and actually help people how to get a budget how to connect with people on social media Again, why am I going to buy from you? You know, trying to use sometimes just a different language. So we quite often say to people, if you think um, in terms of upsell opportunities, if two people or two companies are going to sell a sign tray, well, how do you make that difference? You know, why is what, again, other than price, because everybody's obviously driven by price, what can you do or what language can you use that separates you from your competition? And the final one we um, launched last year, I think it was, it might be early the year before, actually, Time Flies, is the Sustainability Boot Camp, which, again, Jack, you've attended now on a couple of occasions. Mm-hmm. And that's with Steve Lister. And, again, I think it's important for people to understand that we're trying to take sometimes what can be seen as a complexity of sustainability, because it's the buzzword, right? But what actually is it? What are the materials that are available it's all about business growth. Um, sometimes I think maybe people think it's all about recycling. It's really not. It's about educating people and actually elevating them so they uh, appeal to brands. And that's a key thing. Having recently somebody attended from that West Group, she also said, we're being asked things that sometimes I don't understand. So she actually found it really beneficial to, to join the boot camp, which was fantastic. So I kind of think that summarises it, Jack. That's, That's the trick. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, well, on that basis, then you you mentioned Chris uh, that training is a key part of what you do, and this this is all going to come together very soon. Uh, do you want to say a mm. little bit about um, why that is? Why you kind of moved into the training direction, and how you particularly go about about things? Um, 
so with, without sort of sounding too cheesy, uh, it's the love of the job, really. Um, I've sort of been in the industry almost 21 years now from predominantly installation side of things, um, self-employed for 10 of those years, coming up to 11, uh, two business, three businesses in, sorry. Um, and the, the, it's there's not enough out there to help get people into this industry from leaving school. And one of the main things, obviously, on our podcast that we come up against when we're asking people, how did you get into this industry? There's not one single person that turned around and said, you know, right from leaving school, I decided that what I wanted to do was go and wrap vehicles or go and do architectural <laughs> wrapping or, or anything like that, because people fall into the industry. Um, and unfortunately, unfortunately for the people that do fall into it, um, but the, the unfortunate side is a lot of people don't end up falling into the industry and may well miss an opportunity of getting into such a great industry that they would thrive and really enjoy and i mean let's face it we we spend the majority of our life going to work um so you've got to enjoy it uh, I, I can't stand the phrase of um same proverbial uh different day because you've, you've got to do something that you enjoy and and i want to be able to change that and and there has been a lot of change happening um i just don't think enough wider adoption is happening where we can get people to get into this injury f industry from a young younger age um so we we want to try and change that so we have introductory courses we have intermediate courses we put together bespoke packages where we sort of go to site and we can get lots of different people to come to that same site or whether it's just that one individual site um as well as obviously what we're discussing today so we've, we've got a few different options on the training side of things as well as the architectural training side of things as well which is something that is rapidly growing um we've sort of recently become the uh, lx authorized trainer for the north of england as well so that's quite a good good thing to be involved with um mm. because obviously that side of things is growing uh, as well so it's it's more to bring people into a, a great industry that is really growing and thriving and, and you know yourselves obviously we've we've all been in industry industry for a long time now and seen the difference of technologies and things that have been around from when we started to where we're at now and and that's only going to evolve and, and get better and better so the more people we can get in at, at a younger age i think the better it's going to be for the industry long term going forward Okay, so Sam, this is our chance to make the big sort of reveal. Could you say what the what what the announcement is today, and then we can get it sort of under the bonnet of it, so to speak? No, absolutely. So um, Chris and I ended up speaking on a, on his podcast, and then we both came away and got quite excited about it and said, "We've got to do something together. I'm sure we can find something that we can do." Um, so we um, are announcing under wraps. Under Wraps is uh, a boot camp that Chris will be running. I will be there, um, but Chris will be running the workshop. And um, really, probably Chris is the best person to explain more about yeah. the actual boot camp itself. But it excited me because it was something a little bit different. It was almost starting from the beginning. Yeah, there are lots of rap courses out there, right? But actually, what Chris has devised is something that's a little bit different from that. Yes, my we, we, there's going to be some hands-on element. Um, we will be running it in October, November and December. Um, Barry kindly got some sponsors on board, which is fantastic. But I think over to Chris, the man that's running it on the under wraps, the secret that we're, we're um, announcing. So it's under wraps. It's not under wraps anymore. We have announced it. Excellent. So, yeah. Chris, what what is it that you're bringing to? I mean, the boot camps have a particular uh, a particular style, a particular way, the way they bring people together from from various elements of the industry, uh, and it does have a certain magic in and of itself. So, wh what are you, what are you bringing to this? How is this, how is the, your course going to work within this? So, basically, the difference between this course and any other courses, um, predominantly the ones that I run as well as the ones that are already existing, um, are hands-on, this is how you wrap. Uh, so, the, the, the very much the final element of the wrapping process, if you like. So, it's the hands-on, it's the installation, uh, the hints and tips, what you do, what you don't do, um, this is why you fail, this is why you 
you know, do things to not fail. Um, and, and what we're bringing with this boot camp is everything that goes before that. So this yes. would be down to um, the, the very point of uh, that the customer comes to you and says, I want my vehicle wrapping. Uh, and, and you go out and you have a look at it and you go, well, unfortunately, say, you know, your vehicle's 20 years old and it's got a lot of rust on it. So it's, it's not something that we're going to be able to do. Because what we find is that there's a lot of people within the industry, unfortunately, that, that don't have access to this side of training or knowledge and things like that that might be taking a sidestep into the wrapping that might be an existing signage company or somebody that's sort of recently just setting up that really likes the industry and wants to get into it and they go right I, I really want to be a rapper and so they go and do a rap course go right I know how to fit a job now but they don't know how to set it up you know so it's to teach people more on the looking at the job this is how you assess it this is how you advise what can be done mm-hmm. This is what you can and can't do on this particular vehicle. It's recognizing and being able to manage your customers' expectations as well. Uh, how to set up your artwork, how to put your tile joints and things like that. Does it need to be tiled? Where you can hide your joints? Does it need any joints? You know, all all the processes that go through, all the way through to the manufacturing and production side of things before installation. Obviously, we will do, uh, as Sam said, we, we do a hands-on element to it so that people can understand the material that they're using, what's capable of of, of that particular material. Um, to be able to see where there might be some pitfalls, you know, legalities of it, you know, what are the legalities, what you advise your customers, aftercare, all those little bits that seem to be kind of missed out or skimmed over if you like i mean some courses do go into bits and pieces like that but not for any main detail um so we're trying to aim this more at the people that need to know this before it gets to installation because once it's got to installation you might be the best installer in the world but if the job's not set up correctly you might not even be able to install it that way so it's it's to try and help people understand what to look out for when they are quoting for a job for instance because you know that there might be people out there that have underquoted a job without even realizing you know and by the time they get to the job and they think oh god i didn't think about that bit or i missed that um so then they've got additional material additional time product and all the rest of it that goes into it so they might be out of pocket on that particular job and it's it's a steep learning curve you know and and if we can help people avoid little things like that then then that's what we're trying Mm -hmm. to do I think a really key thing, Jack, on it, it and the thing that excited me, even with our, our current boot camps, we can eliminate so many mistakes that are made mm. by what Chris is doing, by what I'm doing, that are costly mistakes. And it's yeah. actually key for myself and Chris that people understand that they're going to get a return of investment and they're going to get a return of investment pretty sharpish Mm. and so it's trying to actually highlight sometimes the errors that happen i don't know about you chris but i certainly know from running the signage boot camp the amount of people that are sat there and said i've always done it like that i had no idea why i had that problem and and that is a costly mistake we have so many instances where we're using products we're using materials because somebody else has said that's what you should do Whereas actually having the experts, and that's why I'm not running this boot camp. That's why Chris is running it, because as you know, sticky stuff, vinyls, materials, not me. But my passion for elevating the industry and trying to take away some of those hurdles and challenges has always been at my heart. And as Chris said, if you're passionate about what you do, as in Chris and I are, that Um, what's the word that comes out when you're training and if you can make Mm. training fun and education and the key thing that they're going to get a return of investment and I always swear by my workshops you will get a return of investment within a month that's how confident I am about our boot camps and I'm sure Chris feels the same yeah Yeah, definitely because it's it's one of those where it only takes that the way I say it to anybody that comes on a training course of mine is if you can take away one bit of information from it then it's valuable because it's that one bit of information that you didn't have before but that one bit of information doesn't just have to apply to that one area 
that is enough to open people's mindsets to think, actually, if I apply that same logic to this, this or this, then you yeah. can change an absolute mountain of of potential errors, shall we say. And I think mm. it's important for everybody to have that mindset of every day is an apprentice day, even myself included. Mm. And, and Sam, even, I'm, I'm sure you're the same, yeah. you know, even though we run yeah. these training courses and, and boot camps and things like that, I don't ever, pre- pre- uh, what's the word? Um, I don't ever sort of possess to say that I am the best because I know that I'm not, um, but I'm happy to pass on the information that I do have and also I'm happy enough to learn as well. And I think that's the key thing, you know, and we've had people on, on courses before that point out certain things. You think, do you know, actually, that's a brilliant idea, you know, yeah. and, and they're yeah. the people You'll that you're that training. The <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I think, I think from, from my own experience of doing this, you, you, you have people from all cross sections of the industry. Uh, and you'll have yeah. people that are expert sort of sign train sort, of, but their customers are asking those sort of questions about wrapping. And, and probably you have to say, well, I'm sorry, it's not my thing. I can't really talk to you about it. And I bet with yeah. your course, it's about giving people the power to be the consultant to their clients. They may never do the, the wrapping themselves. They'd pass it on to an expert, but they can make that sort of pre-sale conversation and make sure the right thing's yeah. going on i'm guessing that's the direction you, you kind of want to go yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's allowing people to to get that confidence as well you know some people might not have the confidence yeah. to take on that job um i mean we, we've had quite a few people I, I won't mention names obviously because of the nature of what we're doing but recently we've we've done some training courses and i've had messages afterwards of people saying you know the lads have just tackled this job and that job which they would never have done before and that to me is that that's the the height of um of of why we do it you know to to get that kind of feedback you know and that confidence that it instills in people and if it allows somebody to be able to take on an extra two or three percent worth of work throughout that year Mm -hmm. because they've got that extra bit of knowledge then it's worth doing you know yeah 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 it keeps those customers on your side well look this is great so let's say so when and where are the first courses and how can people get booked in um they will actually book through myself so basically i'm being chris's secretary right Excellent. <laughs> I it's, will be it's, it sounds booking. so much better when you put it like that yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um team at makeih.co.uk so sam armstrong drop me a line sam at makeih.co.uk i'll be taking the bookings the first one is on the 15th of october um, and that will be held at the Training Visitor, Visitor Centre at Seinfab in Leicester. Um, mm-hmm. We will be taking over upstairs and Chris and I are meeting next week to find out where else in the building we're going to be trying to do the hands-on element. Um, there will be information. We have PDFs. We'll be putting out on social media, hence uh, including you today, Jack. Uh, we do have three boot camps booked. Off the top of my head, I can't remember the, them all, but we do have a sponsor. Chris, could you just mention our sponsor because they're actually sponsoring supplying materials? So if you don't mind, Jack, yeah. I think it's no, not at all. I'd be interested to know. Yeah, so Louisa All Print Supplies has been kind enough to sponsor us as far as materials are concerned. Um, the materials that we're going to be using may vary from time to time, but the main material in which we're going to be using on the printable side is going to be the new Fedragoni C50 uh, and the self colour range. Um, we're, we're not 100% sure on that one yet. I can't say exactly what that is um for for reasons that will come to light in the coming months shall we say um, but it will... top secret there chris <laughs> yeah that's it it's uh, a, a top secret for now but um well, it, it will be revealed uh, but ready for the first date of of the course that we've got booked in so we'll be able to announce it by then so but yeah we've uh very very thankful to APS for obviously sponsoring us going forward on on a materials front because obviously without that it's uh it's difficult to show people the hands-on and um obviously it's it's a large expense so yeah a shout out for all print supplies on that one yeah brilliant and on on the first one jack for reference um they're also um buying lunch as well but it's not steak and chips and caviar for reference 
<laughs> I haven't just chopped it in the foot there, have I, Chris? Hang on. No, that's it. No, no. Which is, again, just... really kind of them because most of the time I make people bring lunch because I'm so worried about allergies, etc. But yeah, you know, it'll be fantastic to have them with us. Um, it yeah. is something very new for Make It Happen team, but I can't think of a better collaboration, to be honest with you, because again, it's offering something different. It makes complete sense. And I'm really happy to hear that you kind of met doing the podcast because that yeah, uh, yeah. shows that, you know, these, these sort of activities, you know, people are interested, but also they're good for bringing, bringing people together. Fantastic. Jack, I, don't yeah. know if you, I don't know if you know this, Jack, but the reason I've met my business partner in America is because she did a podcast with me. That's brilliant. By the That's power of podcasts. There we power go. Yeah. Right, Fantastic. Look, well, well, it's great to chat. Thanks very much for this great best of luck with it i'm sure it's going to be a great success like all the others and uh thanks very much for your time thank you no problem thank, thank you very you. much jack appreciate it